Hello, hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Let's Play Against the Storm with uh, the Anna Playthrough pretty much done. We decided um, it would be good to pick this up uh, once again. And there's actually uh, been a few updates since then. Uh, I've played some, but not everything. I haven't uh, fully explored all the uh, new possibilities. So uh, I loaded it up. We have some new, uh, well, we're an early access version 0.45.3R. Um, we have another week until the next patch. I hope I'll be. Uh, I'll, I'll find some time to finish the map we're gonna play next. Because if you don't finish it, you basically just get re the resources for winning or part of the resources for winning, which is uh, it's, it's, it's a bit like cheating, isn't it? <laughs> so let's see um, just how far we get. Uh, it's probably. Um, I don't know if we if this is gonna be a full playthrough, but every so often I, I really want to re return to this game because it's. Um, I'm kind of following the pro the um, mm, the progression of this, not yeah, well the uh, development. That's the word I'm looking for of this game. And um, yeah, there's, there have been some uh, pretty interesting announcements as well. Besides the uh, well new updates, so there's new modifiers. There's a favoring update, so no more favoring favor juggling, which I've been abusing the hell of last uh, map. I think pretty sure I did. This is a ring punk, so uh, the whole sys system is gone. It's no longer a taxing system. So in the past, it was just like for every pro uh, the thing you produce, you basically have to pay a tax in turn, like uh, in the form of wood, coal, or uh, is it oil? I don't know. At least wood and coal, wood or coal, for producing, which is now changed. So there's some, of course, new cornerstones linked to this as well. Uh, training expedition, yeah, you can customize everything. Might be fun to do it once, but I'll probably not do that on camera. And the main thing, well, one other main thing I think that's came out just after the last episode I recorded this is, is the camps update. Or well, maybe the lighthouse update as well. Yeah, this one we already know of. I don't know, I think we lo won the last time with the Royal Archaeologist. It's been uh, quite a while. This is new, but the camps update. Basically, all the camps are available now, and you can find upgraded versions, which can harvest the big nodes. The small ones can only harvest from small nodes. This changes um, your play style in the marshlands most, I uh, assume, because they have actual bonuses to harvesting this way. So interesting. There's also a new. Um, it's not in the what's new section here, but there's a new um, race announced. Uh, I think we're still at the point where we haven't unlocked Harpies yet, or just unlocked it. We're just gonna play. Let's see what we got first. Then we'll uh, then we know f soon enough what we have. I think you need level five for Harpies. We're level five, so we should be able to have the Harpies now. And we have some quests to complete. So um, we have quests to complete, stuff to spend. That's what we're gonna start with here. So we're gonna just pick this up. It's experience. It's experience. More experience. It gives us the artisan, the press, a new cornerstones here. So artisan for coats, pigments and barrels, oil, the press produces oil mostly, some flower luxury goods as well, monastery, so leisure, for religion and leisure. I mean it's a service building for religion and leisure. And the green brew, I believe that reduces hostility. I think it reduces uh, hostility by 100. It's a full level of hostility if you put three people in there. So through the ancient, so through the ancient. Yeah, luxury items, craft materials, blueprints for chemical buildings and perks. Is that so? Yeah, I think so. Probably, probably right. And there's two new uh, uh, cornerstones here. This one is uh, is one I generally always pick if I find it. It's uh, Basically plus 10 global resolve for five minutes if you opened the glade recently at the level we're playing at Yeah, it's a safe pick the five penalty is a bit annoying, but the plus 10 is, is pretty big You can keep it up uh, with just having two open two glades every cycle So you open one right after the storm and right before the storm basically you can do a small glade right before the storm and a big one right after just so you can do the events uh, safely. Frequent caravans. Um, I find it hard to keep this up. I've tried this one uh, in my games, but the 30 to 60 seconds is really slow, especially since the trade routes take longer than that. We'll see. Anyway, let's pick some more of these things up. I think 
might even get to level 7. Uh, new embarkation bonus here. Read. 45. Yeah, I think we'll just hit level 7 here. So there we go. Explorer's Lodge. Brawling education. He drew his hut for oil mostly. Yeah, incense and coats. Ranch is actually a f food building where you can use... Um, it's generally plant fiber and, and grains sort of things to uh, produce this stuff. It's only a one star meat, leather and eggs production, so it's not going to be as good as just gathering. But it's uh, if you're making a lot of, if you have a little farms farming going, then yeah, it's uh, going to be helpful. Uh, reinforced road is a better version the, than a stone road. Cost one copper per a pop, so the one stone a pop. It's ten percent increased speed. I think uh, stone is fifteen. Uh, trade hub. Um, yeah, slows resolve the rotation by 50 is kind of big, but uh, one reputation points per 60 ember, that can be interesting. Herb production, whatever. And we have the pipe elbow. There we go. Q. Right, that's all that. Now we can uh, look at upgrades here. So we have 66 and 22 artifacts. So there's quite some things we can do here. Um, extra embarkation. Cornerstone pull increase is pretty good. He's early, I think. Probably gonna pick that up. One point, implication point. Another one is here. We could pick this up. Reroll chance. Use Amber to reroll. This is actually pretty good. The five planks is uh, kind of big. It's a permanent starting. Every settlement. More range. Maybe. Ten pipes. Pipes is needed for the rain punk. So we can't do the rain punk yet un until we uh, unlock this. It would cost all of our resources to unlock it though. And this we can't get yet. Th these are the uh, houses basically. Hmm. Faction's pretty good for meta progression as well. So maybe we should pick this up. No, I think I, I like this one best, so we're gonna unlock this one for sure. And then maybe just one of the... Like this one is 22. And maybe an extra embarkation point here. It's not the most efficient use of our uh, resources, but we're gonna have a lot of artifacts anyway. Right, so that's that. Okay, let's see what we got. So we uh, went this way. There's a royal outpost here. We done these two. Like, I don't see a reason to go far right now because we don't have the factions unlocked. It matters then. The further you get, the bigger your score gets. So you compete versus three other factions. There's no. It's n that's not happening yet. So this is Scarlet Orchard. This is Coral Forest, I think. Yeah, it's a coral forest. This is a Scarlet Orchard level. So I think doing a marshlands might actually be fun. So let's, let's go do that. Royal Outpost modifier as well. Order choices will be increased by one. It's uh, a bonus. It's not a harmful thing. That's why it only gives food. If it's a har it's, if it's an actual harmful thing, it would get, give uh, machinery and or artifacts. If it gives both, it's extra hard. All right, so let's see. So we have harpies here unlocked, so we could get those now. Uh, we're working. We work. We're, this is a marshland. It's it's only small amount of fertile soil, so that should uh, we should consider this basically when we when we do this. This means that we probably don't want to go uh, with humans if we can help it. Um, I'm gonna do Prestige 2 because uh, we unlocked it. We have Blight Rod appearing now every third clearing season. And I think I'd rather go full Beaver. Harpies are fine. We'll see if we can unlock them. But uh, Beavers are just generally always good. If I have a, have a chance to get it, we'll get it. So that's what we're gonna do. So we grab this. Um, I probably want some wood and some extra food here. Um, 
I have a feeling that roots are harder to find. Not, I don't know. We already have roots. For diversity sake, go eggs. Yeah, let's go. So yeah, the, this second prestige is not changing the game, like changing the game that much. So we have devastating things. Let's see what we get. We can get eggs. We cannot get roots anyway. So we'll get roots then. Can get coal. There's the trees have leather in them, so it's not going to be plant fiber. Mushrooms is the food resource as well. So basically, beavers are gathering some food. So nice. Um, I'm gonna embark with this these settings. So yeah, quite some changes. Let's see what we get. Drizzle water production useless because we don't have the bit. Well, pretty much useless. We can build the. Uh, Ring collectors, which I think do something, just increases the the spark your production or something, but that's about it. But uh, we don't have the pipes, we don't have the rain punk upgrades yet, so it's useless. <laughs> Looming darkness is known. 40% slower if they don't have housing, and no housing, 55% penalty to resolve, so housing is going to be really important. Uh, complex food and housing needs to. Avoid uh, stacking debuff every ooh, 60 seconds during the storm. So it probably goes up. I think the storm lasts like two minutes. So it's four max. It's basically one extra level of Gloomy Darkness. So it's not that bad. And uh, twice the amount of goods when using services only. So that's not that big a deal, I think. Services is. Uh, not being used that much okay so let's see what we got so one thing you can see immediately if you haven't seen uh, if you've seen the previous ones is uh, that the layout has changed normally it was a hearth in the middle warehouse left behind now it's no longer the case it's uh, the starting is a little bit randomized i like that just gives a little bit more variety to uh to your to the way your city looks every time it's not the same build uh, like that it's not looking the same every time so we're gonna start immediately with uh, making camps here. We're gonna want two stone, two wood cutters here. So we're gonna put those here. Um, marshlands, forbidden glades. Um, yeah, we have a uh, beaver in there, so twenty percent lower food uh, production is fine. We forbidden glades in marshlands hold. Yeah, there you go. Enormous life forms, which uh, we can, uh, in fact, use. Because if you take that, you can uh, get a really good gathering camp. But for now, let's just uh, get going. I'm gonna speed you up a little bit with plus three. We'll just pause whenever something important happens. We're gonna get a cornerstone it in like uh, when it's like when it's his th it's three minutes, I think. What I do know is that we want to build shelters as well, so we'll get get working on those. We have nine people, so nine it is. We're gonna hit one. Here we go. We're gonna set this to avoid um, avoid glades except marked. It's the one I'm gonna want. So this is gonna. We'll probably f f dig out this glade here. And this will uh, with holding alt no holding control holding control we can avoid cutting into this but we want to work our way towards it so cornerstone uh, meat specialization one beaver resolve for every seventy wine produced and resolve per level so we have trade route route accessibility. So we could consider this. Let's see what we got here. We're not gonna pick anything up yet. Well, we have the wine here right away. Needs containers and oh, mushrooms are from trees here. Skewers and biscuits. There's a few options. Um, speaking of biscuits, we're gonna turn that off. Don't want these guys consuming biscuits. Can't even favor now because you need more species. <laughs> Makes sense. It would be cheating. Just click it. F have some extra 
have some extra. So, meat production. You know, we have meat production here. I think that might be might be a thing we're gonna do. We also have unlocked the ranch now, so... Well, ranch is a little bit less good since that relies on farming. And this, I don't know. Don't know if we're gonna trade a lot. Depends a bit on our orders. Let's see what orders we get. So this is a trade. Oh, these are trading goods. So sell 12 worth of goods. Get some tools and newcomers. All, all these are building materials. Hmm. Like which is like objectively better? I don't think this will do much. There are camps which will boost that, and the reinforced needles is nice for for fabric and as a result, clothing. We have double production with all these these guys, so maybe this would just cat upgrade our production a bit. I don't think we'll do this, right? Well, six tools is is nice though. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Extra orders available, but that's about it. So we don't know much. We don't know enough yet. I'm I'm, I'm afraid. So uh, I kind of want to turn off coal, just in case we need that for one of our things. Yeah, I think I'll take the meat production. It's uh, the direct one that actually works here. And we could gather this. But maybe... No, I think I'll go for this. This is a good resource to trade. Which is what we need anyway. And the two villages is, uh, is helpful at the start. So we'll pick that up. Two dangerous events. 18 resolve for two more guys and food. Tra two trade routes. <laughs> we got a little trade routes. I think we'll do this because we're definitely going to go into events, into the glades here. Uh, training post. Yeah, this is the obvious pick, I think. Another two events completed, five building materials. I think I like this. I kind of want to go with, tw if we go with 12 tools into a first event, I think that will help a lot. So. I think, I think we'll pick this up. So we're gonna start with a trade post really quickly then. I'm gonna put it next to the hearth, which generally don't do, but for now we will. So we also wanna start on the trapper's camp here. Nice. All right, so our production is, is getting is starting here. Um, it's this is a pretty good one. We, we have the meat, and we have some roots right now, so it, it will help at the start. Wait, we can use for skewers. We can also use. Well, we don't need skewers. <laughs> Who am I killing? Kidding yet? Yeah, biscuits are nice, but. Uh, Yes, flowers needed. No roots, which aren't available. So actually, biscuits isn't that great. Clothier is already a buff for. This is jerky and pickled goods as well. We need a container for that. We don't have a recipe yet. This jerky should be easy to do though. So a jerky recipe would be nice, even though they don't need it. Education and religion, they only need education. I think I'll, I'll wait a little bit. No. Could call this immediately, but I don't see why. Okay, let's see. Ah, there's new guys. Uh, Alright, so we know what we're gonna get. Let's go get that. Use the roots, it's fine. 
Well, I'd rather use this, but I think insects then. Alright, let's go pick those up. That's actually more important than uh, building this. And also, whoa, we have fertile ground. Interesting. That changes some things, I think. It also means that this is becoming possible. And we have humans as well. So yeah. And skewers are used by those and biscuits by those too. So now we also have a target for skewers. Okay, cook house it is. Forager's camp, very good. Probably want to pick that up. Well, forager's camp. This requires a herbalist camp, so we don't actually have a use for that yet. Alright. <laughs> we'll turn you. This costs m money, uh, wood to move though, so we're not gonna do that. But this one isn't built yet. <laughs> so we got. This is very lucky that we get a uh, fertile soil here. Now I really want to get a a farming building. Doesn't really matter which one. Uh, specialization bonus meat, so we'll put this guy in there. We'll put one of these down. I, I think this has a specialization for uh, harpies, which we don't have, so. Right. So far, so good. So yeah, we have, uh, have meat coming. Uh, let's think about this. Like a forage camp is pretty good in this mission, but um, to be honest, it's the worst one. Because I've been thinking, like if you look at here, you can see what you have. You only have grain resources. There's no, uh, no roots and no insects, right? This is roots and insect, uh, vegetables, vegetables, which I don't think there are either. No, there's no ad vegetables either. So the only way you, you use this is for grain, which is kind of weak, to be honest. I don't think we'll take this. I think I'd rather go for uh, for production building then. Like, what if we just take the planks? I think that's fine. And uh, just realized that. <laughs> Someone is eating my biscuits. <laughs> uh, no, no one is allowed biscuits. Yeah, we have the f we have a farm here. Not <laughs> the herbalists this time, which is better because it's mushrooms. But I think since we found a field, it it just makes sense to take a farm building right now when we got a chance. So. We'll go, we'll go do that immediately. And we'll actually build this one with some sort of priority here. Um, yeah, I want to build this stuff up first. I'm going to hit the storm next. We're at the level one. Right, so we can't really do anything yet until it's storm season, so we're going to keep that guy around as a builder for now. Basically until they... So that's, that's done. Uh, no, wait, we don't need a builder. We can just use uh, food production for now. I kind of want to only have this guy on here. There's a 10% chance of doubling yields. Which I think is worth more than uh, I'm almost getting to the point where I'm gonna plug those two in. It's gonna I'm gonna upgrade update it with a Okay. I'm gonna put the human in there right now. So let's see. F a simple switch gonna be the 
put this guy... Well, maybe we can do it with favor. Let's see. Minus two? I don't think we even need to do favoring here. <laughs> Thanks for this this news. Alright. I'm gonna do this. This solves the problem immediately. And you're gonna... I'm gonna put an extra beaver in there. And the rest is fine. Alright. Good. You don't actually need to click this when you move it. So I'm gonna put both of these here. Since the thing is clear, I wanna dig into this place next. So yeah, there's also a logistics update now, where actually stuff is can be brought to. Uh, you don't, people don't have to go through a warehouse now to get stuff. Okay. I'm gonna move this. I'm sorry, this is uh, was pissing me off. Sorry, five wood. Okay, open. Uh, change this guy away to beaver. You are f a lizard again. So cornerstone first. Urn planning. Oh, has will work for? I don't know about that. I think this has changed. I think it was uh, something else previously. Uh, yeah, this is the frequent quarter caravans. Yeah, maybe we'll do this then. Need for education? It will only work for the beavers. This is the problem. None of these guys want education. This one just they just want leisure and religion. And here we have one tool. I think I want this anyway. Nine coats just not gonna do much. The one tool will bring us further, and the two lizards here are actually very helpful. Uh, it means that we can change these into humans. We need one house extra. So put that down, and I also want to build a stone cutter here. So that's something they can do. We'll have this guy arriving soon. Wait, I thought I moved this guy over here. Maybe I moved that one instead. Right, um, oh, cornerstone. I oh, this has changed. Interesting. They uh, move, changed the, the way this looks. So they need stuff I don't really want to part with <laughs> right now. We also need to make a makeshift post. Hmm. So I don't know about the trade route thing though. Is this for also uh, future housing? I don't know. Might be. Hope, hope it is. But it might not be. <laughs> There we go. I think this is just a easy, easy thing to do. I mean, this is better if your if your construction is more expensive, which isn't the case for us yet. A need for education that's just not going to happen in the short term, so it's going to be this one. Uh, actually, unmark this. We're gonna. I wanna. I want this open. Okay. Let's see. We have the rain, the Forbidden Cave, which summons Fishman Totems. That's not that bad. All these are, I don't know, that's kind of bad. So we need 10 more coal for this to be completed. This coal. Snake eggs we can't use because we need an actual proper crapper. Uh, trap <laughs> trapper camp there. So uh, we know what we need. We need 10 coal or the tools, basically. So we need 17 amber, and then we're good. But we can build a road. I mean, we have some time. This takes five minutes. We have 10 minutes before uh, we, I think, three p Oh, just spawns totems and impatience. So it's not as bad. There's some really bad events around, and there's more meat, so. Coal is interesting, though. I wonder, do, 
Do we even have... Yeah, we have the mine, so... That could work. Uh, I need a crude workstation. You can see the lines here that it takes from the... I'm gonna put it here. You see the, 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 the arrows there pointing from where they... Pointing to, well... Sources they can get stuff from, they will point to these uh, this uh, this building. So I'll put it over here a little bit far away. We can build pipes. We're gonna build any of that. I just want to build uh, a few planks, like six and oh, level sixty-five. Calm down, like four and well bricks also. Well, let's put six, six, eight. No, six as well. We need that much for uh, a carpenter, really. Because that's uh, our next building here. So, five, two. I'll put that next, next to here, I think. Anyway, we have farm stuff coming in. I am planting a little herbs. Which I guess is fine. Anyway. Uh, I'm gonna end uh, this episode here. Um, in the past, I did like nice changes, but I'm just gonna do pauses in between and uh, do about half an hour per uh, per episode. So, see you next time. Bye bye. Thanks for watching.